generally speaking, I think that all the words are I think we're trying to invent uh, a public space. They are following a different approach. I think there is lots of work. Is there is lots of input from the architects that have participated in this presentation in the kiosk competition. I really like the diversity of what has been presented. The level is really good. I really enjoy and impress about the quality. I see a lot of good ideas, nice works. So congratulations to the students. Uh,仔细看下来都蕴含了,无论是那鸟还是导师,他们非常的从专业上和从这个各景上的那种注入。我觉得这批年轻人确实是很投入,也很有水准,体现了他们的这种认真负责的这种精神,也体现了他们对未
if you walk around the waterfront on the seaside. But the second reason, which is in a way much more interesting for me, is that in a in a in a metropolitan environment with a lot of high-rise buildings, like a lot of skyscrapers, the view. The zenithal view, the view from the top of the building is very important. So I'd love to imagine to have a view on the waterfront which will be punctuated by these flowers. So I like that idea, but I think they have to make this platform higher, taller first, and then leave the platform alone without that stupid burning metric. It brings back this the, the the, the garden in different places of the city and uh, that's important the fence that was done was we just have to delete it I mean we have done some comments here by looking at it but I thought maybe it's not necessarily one of the best but the potential is important that in a city which is moving out of industry to create a, a city formation to have kind of different spots with gardens in them so in that sense, it needs lots of study, but it's, I think it's fine. 花枝伞给人的感觉就更特别一点,因为它是属于又跟你有亲近又有一点的现代的那种梳理感,所以总让我想起一个词叫近乡情更确. We have discussed a lot about the kill tree. Because the idea to protect, defend, and in a way emphasize the multiplication of trees and of lishi along the waterfront, along the seaside, it's, it's a very good idea. And also I think it's, it's not a bad idea that uh, around any leash we can build a temporary uh, settlement that allow the people to experience the growth of the tree at a different level. So I like this. Uh, uh, I think uh, the idea to have a perimeter, internal and external perimeter, transparent or semi-transparent external perimeter which is hidden a little bit or uh, absorbing the projection from the inside of the kiosk of the people of the tree is a little bit too complicated so uh, as it happens uh, often when we start to work as architects when we are young uh, we are not capable to stop so if I should give uh, uh, an evaluation of all this work I think that uh, the best are the work that are have understood sometimes it's better to define a concept and then stop, not exaggerate, not excess in the uh, some superimposition of different concepts. This is a typical case of a project that in itself is great, but then the idea to add other things, other things, other things, it's destroying the pureness and the straightening of, of the first concept. I kiosk. I, I, I selected as a third uh, favorite project because uh, I like the idea to use, uh, as a, in, a certain, in a kind of paradoxical way, a device, a format which is uh, normally used to build huge, hard buildings uh, in order to, 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 to realize a light mobile platform as like a kiosk. I think this uh, uh, opposition or this contradiction is very well run by the author of this project. Uh, the beams uh, and the dimension of the beams are uh, strong and uh, out of scale in relation with the space that they want to build. But at the same time, it's interesting how a, a technical uh, material has a beam is transformed in a, a domestic space, has a wall or has a roof. Uh, and uh, I like that idea. Uh, it's well done. And uh, maybe it's not uh, really new, but I, I like. Eye kiosk uh, is for me an eye catcher. You, if you see it once, you remember it again. What I like is also this. Uh, in this small construction, they use these big beams. They are only fixed in one point. You have a big uh, open space, so the people can go in. You have a multi-purpose use, so you can use this kiosk for a bar, for an entrance, uh, or only like a sculpture. So you can really do a lot of things with this uh, uh, kiosk. Yeah. Uh, 
Split has, a, what I like in Split is, is a simple design, really simple, it's not so complicated, I think it's really easy to produce, to do it, but also here you have a lot of uh, variation what you can use. So the student showed us uh, what you can do only with these two pieces of house. You can do really a uh, 100 design. 那重椅呢？它是以一种简洁的单元寻求了一种无限变换的可能。我觉得它可能在现场会呃能引发更多的互动，所以我也蛮喜欢的。You know, I was thinking about those works, and I found out that the majority of them deals with a pitched roof or a roof that is of the tradition of Chinese old houses. Which is interesting because uh, this area is an industrial area that is now changing step by step to become into to go into a different level. So by choosing something that reminds you of the past, of the history of the place. In fact, three of the projects that I have selected dealt with a pitched roof. So one of them did not have a roof at all, but the lines that were followed suggests a village typology, you know, suggests something which is of, ah, it reminds you of a village. So you're in the middle of the city with a kiosk that reminds you of the village. And I think that's interesting. One part, which is a kind of a toy, you bring it and you play with it, you change it, you put it with something else, also could create a pitched roof if you put them together, you know. It also reminds you of the village of the old traditional Chinese house. And that's what, that part is very interesting. But it also, if you combine it differently, it will remind you of an industry. So it could be, depending on the place, reminding you of different things and creating other combination. And it's, it's fun. So I think the young people are not the same now. So like the young people who are interested in this work, including the young people, 他指导的这个作品，我觉得实际上这两个作品呢，给了人们更多的那种想象的空间。其实这个社会大家说，这个只有变化是唯一不变的。那我觉得他们这两个作品其实都共同体现了这样一个特点，这种变化的无数种的这
in Italy and I have a lot of Chinese students which are great. They come, they learn, they come back here with a patrimony of knowledge uh, that they immediately reuse here and that's uh, something that I really like. I think that the global condition of architecture is that is a possibility to move, to experience and come back and move again and when you move you, are, you have always with you what you have understood, what you have learned. So that's the same, the same thing for me. I have learned a lot uh, staying here in these days, but also all the time that I came in China or in Shenzhen. And I have used what I have learned in other parts of the world. You know? So we are like uh, bees. We are bringing things and we put them in the different flowers and then we move, we exchange the ingredients and uh, that's architecture. I think. So, uh, I think that young architects should simply go ahead, be brave, and, uh, and maybe well, try to understand how much, uh, even in China, uh, the political field could help architecture. As far as I understood, this, uh, the new president is really close to architecture. And as far as I understood what he's saying about uh, the last uh, two musculars and two, he called the name strange, architectural solutions could open a new period where architecture could play a major role. Um, let's see. To the student, yes, I want to say it's, uh, it's great that uh, China has its own design and their own future in the modern building. Chishin 实际上说到我们这一次评比的这个领域建筑建筑师能够出一些在国际上有影响力的能够代表我们这个民族代表我们这个国家的大师级的人那么他们我觉得应该是这个领域的国人的骄傲这是我对年轻人的一种期待 Young Bird Plan Realizzate i vostri sogni Young Bird Plan 实现你的设计梦想 Young Bird Plan Lesem Tahlamo Young Bird Plan, réalisez vos rêves. Young Bird Plan, réalisez le Diamond Crown. Young Bird Plan, réalisez votre rêve.